the love and affection that the Indian community has shown to us over the last five or six days. It makes me very, very proud when I come here and I see all of you representing our country. Makes me proud because of the way you have behaved. The humility that you have shown. The acceptance that has been given to you. You didn't come here, any of you, none of you came here arrogantly. Aap Hindustan se ahankar nahi lai. You came here with limited means. And you built something fantastic, something wonderful. And all of you have different journeys, none more or less important than the other. The other thing that you did was accepted the culture of the United States, the language of, of the United States the history of the United States, the diverse religions of the United States. You did not come here and fight or abuse the culture, the religion, the history of the United States. So for us, you and millions of you, millions like you, are ambassadors people who represent our country and people who represent a particular view of our country. Because as you know, there is a fight going on back home. A fight between two ideologies, one that we represent and the other, of course, that the BJP and the RSS represents. I think the simplest way to describe this fight is on one side you have Mahatma Gandhi and on the other side you have Nathuram Godse. That's the best, most precise way. <laughs> most precise way that I can say it. On one side a brave man, NRI like you, in fact, probably the most impactful NRI that India has had in many, many years. Humble man, simple man, but a man who believed in the future, who believed in India, propagated non-violence and searched for the truth. That's the ideology that we follow. That's the ideology that all of you follow in this room. And then on the other side, Nathuram Godse, violent, angry, unable to face the reality of his own life. You see, the reason he shot Gandhi was that he could not face his own life. And so he had to take his anger out on somebody. And he chose to take his anger out on the essence, on the man who represented the essence of India. So that is the fight. 
Gandhiji was forward looking, modern, open minded. Gotse only spoke of the past. He never spoke of the future, only spoke of the past. He was angry, hateful, and frankly, he was scared. At, his, at the heart, he was a coward. Right? And, and he was unable to deal with his life. On the other hand, Gandhiji faced the biggest force on the planet, a superpower, more powerful than the United States is today. And he faced it because he followed the truth and he was humble. And you're all following in the footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi, Ambedkar ji, Sadar Patel ji, Jawaharlal Nehru. This is, this is who you learn from. And this is who you represent. And I can go back in history. If we want to talk about humility, I can go back. I don't need to stop at Mahatma Gandhi because Mahatma Gandhi also learned from some other people. It is not that Mahatma Gandhi ji was the person who invented this. Before Mahatma Gandhi, if there are friends here from Karnataka, there is Basavana. If there are friends here from Kerala, there is Narayanaguru. If there are friends here from Punjab, there is Guru Nanak ji. There is Buddha. There is a list of people. I mentioned Dr. Ambedkar. Jai Bhim. Right? And so there's a long list. And if you look, if you look at the essence of all these people, you take any one of them, you take Ambedkar ji, you take Mahatma Gandhi, you take Guru Nanak ji, all the giants that have emerged from India, you can see that there are certain qualities that all of them have. First of all, and most important, they search for and represent and fight for the truth. <laughs> Ambedkar ji fought for the truth of what Dalits in India were facing. And the second thing is, all these people are humble. There is no arrogance to be found in these people. And that is how you have worked in the United States. That's why you're successful. Everybody says, oh, the Indian community is so successful. Indian community is so intelligent. No. The reason the Indian community is successful here is because the Indian community has respected the United States, the people of the United States, the customs of the United States, and has, and has embraced them. You have, you have embraced the United States. You have embraced the people of the United States. That is the heart of your success. So I commend you for that. I respect you for that and I honor you for that. Now, back home we have a problem. And I will tell you the problem. Simple. BJP and the RSS are incapable of looking at the future. They are incapable. They don't. They. Unse aap kuch bhi puchho, piche ke aur dekhte hain. Unse puchho, unse puchho, bhaiya. Train accident kyu hua? Kahenge bhaiya, wo dekho Congress ne 50 saal pehle ye kiya. भैया टेक्स्ट बुक्स में से आपने पीरियोडिक टेबल 
एवोल्यूशन क्यों निकाल दिया भैया कांग्रेस पार्टी ने साठ साल पहले यह किया देर इट इज इमीजिएट देर इमीजिएट रिस्पॉन्स भैया पीछे देखो नाउ यू थिंक अबाउट इट ऑल ऑफ यू केम हियर बाय कार यूजिंग योर कार्स इमेजिन इफ द ओनली थिंग यू डिड वॉज लुक इन द रियर व्यू मिरर इफ चौबीस घंटा वेन यू आर ड्राइविंग द कार यू लुक एट द रियर व्यू मिरर कुड यू ड्राइव योर कार यूड बी हैविंग वन एक्सीडेंट आफ्टर द अदर द पैसेंजर वुड बी सिंग भैया क्या कर रहे हो मरवा दिया आपने राइट दैट इज द फिनोमिना ऑफ नरेंद्र मोदी जी he is trying to drive the car the indian car and he only looks in the rear view mirror and then he does not understand why this car is crashing not moving forward and it's the same idea with the bjp with the rss all of them you listen to them you listen to their ministers you listen to the prime minister you will never find them talking about the future they will only talk about the past and they will always blame somebody else for the past so i remember a train accident when the congress party was in power the congress party did not get up and say now it is the fault of the british that the train has crashed no the congress minister i remember said it is my responsibility the train is crashed i am resigning right so this is the this is the problem that we have back home that we make excuses and we are not accepting the reality we are faced with the reality we are faced with is our unemployment numbers and the fact that we meet, need to make sure that all our youngsters are productive and get a job and i believe and one of the reasons i have come here is be, is because i believe that if we want to build an india where the vast majority of our youngsters have are em- employed one of the things we have to think about is the bridge between india and the united states what does it look like what does our partnership focus on and how do we compete with the challenge the chinese have placed on the table what is our view on the revolution in mobility what is our view on the revolution on data and connectivity and what is our view on the transformation that is taking place in the energy system of the world these are the things that we should be discussing and this is what namaskar have a nice day so then you dekhiye na this is the this is you have to understand this is congress party's power this is congress party's power we are ready to we are not being violent we are not being aggressive right we are not being nasty that is our strength am i not right did we did we shout at him and say no no we didn't we will not change our behavior we will not change our behavior because because you cannot the thing is you cannot please understand you cannot cut hatred with hatred it's impossible right it is impossible to do i'm not interested in 
ट्राइंग टू कट हेटरेड विद हेटरेड मैंने बोला था नफरत के बाजार में मोहब्बत की दुकान आपका काम नफरत फैलाने का है हमारा काम मोहब्बत फैलाने का है हम आपके लिए आपका काम थोड़ी करेंगे हम तो अपना काम करेंगे राइट सो सो दैट इज वॉट वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन देर इज अ चैलेंज इन इंडिया देर इज एन अटैक ऑन द डेमोक्रेटिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ कंट्री फुल स्केल अटैक ऑन आर इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑन आर जुडिशरी ऑन आर मीडिया एंड इट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड आवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू डिफेंड द आइडिया ऑफ इंडिया एंड द आइडिया ऑफ इंडिया द सेंट्रल पीस ऑफ द आइडिया ऑफ इंडिया इज आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड आर डेमोक्रेसी मॉडर्न इंडिया कैनॉट एग्जिस्ट विदाउट आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड विदाउट आर डेमोक्रेसी राइट सो वॉट एक्साइट्स मी in this type of a meeting that i come here and i see people thousands and thousands of people who believe in the idea of india who believe in the democratic principles of our country who believe in the constitution who believe that we should be affectionate to each other that we should love each other and i must tell you it gives me tremendous strength tremendous strength when i see you and i see the way you behave and i see the way you act because in each of your hearts there is india aap le ghumte ho aap 24 ghante apne dil mein hindustan ko liye ghumte ho right and wo kaun sa hindustan liye ghumte ho wo mohabbat wala hindustan एक दूसरे की इज्जत करने वाला एक दूसरे की मदद करने वाला गले लगे वा, लगने वाला हिंदुस्तान आप लिए घूमते हो 24 घंटा मैंने देखा है इसी ट्रिप पे मैंने देखा यू सी अ पर्सन फ्रॉम अन अदर कल्चर यू विल हेल्प दम इमीजिएटली यू विल नॉट आस्क अच्छा वॉट रिलीजन आई यू what community are you from what are you wearing no you'll say if you need my help i don't care which religion you're from i'm indian and i'm going to help you to to be nasty to people to be arrogant to be violent these are not indian values they're simply not indian values if they were indian values why would we be celebrating mahatma gandhi guru nanak ambedkar basavana narayana guru why because they represented the values that we appreciate we celebrate them because we believe in what they said and so this is a new fashion that has come that to express indianness you have to be hateful to express indianness you have to be abusive to express indianness you have to beat people no that's not indianness that's something else and we refuse to accept that as indian right so that that's the message i want to leave you with i have one thing sam that i was thinking now i've come to new york we were in california but there is a lot of diaspora people living in different parts of the united states and i think the next time i come you must take me to some other cities you know maybe 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 chicago <laughs> dallas atlanta right yeah because 
बिकॉज माई इंटेंशन माई इंटेंशन इज टू बिल्ड अ रिलेशनशिप विद यू माई इंटेंशन इज टू हैव अ रिलेशनशिप विद यू ए एफेक्शनेट लविंग रिलेशनशिप विद यू वेर यू कैन से टू मी दट राहुल दिस इज वॉट वी थिंक राहुल दिस इज हाउ यू शुड थिंक अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप विद द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स दिस इज वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड सो मच इन टेलिंग यू वॉट आई बिलीव आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू मन की बात ओवर हियर राइट आई एम आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन आपके मन में क्या है आई एम इंटरेस्टेड नॉट इन लुकिंग एट द रियर व्यू मेरो बट लुकिंग इन फ्रंट एंड सेंग ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स हाउ डू वी मूव फॉरवर्ड इफेक्टिवली एंड एंड हाउ एज अ कंट्री डू वी स्प्रेड affection love and affection how are we how are we kind to people that's what i am interested in and that's the knowledge that you have there's huge talent in all of you today just in the last meeting a young girl came up to me and she said rahul ji there's so much i want to do for my country i'm a stanford graduate but you know i don't like the atmosphere back home i don't like the anger the hatred that has been spread back home i'm concerned about going back as a as a young girl that's not the india we want the india we want is where this young lady says i want to go back home because there's love affection peace harmony in my country and the talent look the central architect of there are the central architect of modern india was a nri mahatma gandhi was an nri the freedom movement of india we might not like to say this the freedom movement of india began in south africa right the and you can see all our leaders in the freedom movement my great grandfather nehru ji nri ambedkar ji nri sardar patel nri subhash chandra bose nri all of them nris right and and people who had an open mind to the outside world who came to england in those days came to america and said these are interesting ideas we need to take back home right so that's what i expect from you you are the i would say the next generation future generation mahatma gandhi future generation ambedkars future generation sardar patels and your role is to take your talent immense talent maybe sometimes my criticism of you might be that you even underestimate what talent you have maybe that i can say that you don't even understand the level of talent that you have and the capability that you have and that is what you have to bring to play you can do it in america you can do it back home you can do it building a bridge between america and india so that is what i wanted to tell you i am at your service i i love all of you i love all of you i love what you do i yeah acha can you can i ask you question chota sa sawal main puchna chahta hu aapne 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 bjp ke meeting mein kabhi i love you suna hai 
कभी सुना है कांग्रेस कांग्रेस के लोग एक दूसरे बात करते हैं आई लव यू आई लव यू ब्रदर आई लव यू ब्रदर आई लव यू ब्रदर तो ये हिंदुस्तान है नफरत के बाजार में मोहब्बत की दुकान थैंक यू <laughs>